Hello, welcome to chapter 11. This chapter is about uh, emptiness, about the emptiness of the Tao. I mean, we talk about a lot about the, the all, right? We talked a lot about, usually all religions and people, they talk a lot about the, the everything, the all. And they don't talk too much about, um, about the nothing, <laughs> you know, and the Tao, at the end of the, the day, the Tao is uh, the all, and also the nothing, it's everything, it's the absolute. So in this chapter, we're going to talk more about the, the nothingness, the emptiness. Thirty spokes unite around one hub to make a wheel. All right, so if we think about a wheel, we focus usually on the spokes, but they, the spokes just create this emptiness inside that is the wheel right? It's the hub that forms the wheel, the emptiness inside the wheel that enables it to turn around and round. It is the presence of the empty space that gives the function of a vehicle, right? What is a vehicle? A, ve a vehicle is something that there is something inside it <laughs> that enables something else to be inside of it, all right? So, for example, we talk a lot about the body being a vehicle, and this is an example, but also a car could be a vehicle and a train could be a vehicle. A vehicle is just something that enables uh, something else to be inside of it. And this emptiness, that's what enables a vehicle to do its function, to do its job. Clay is modeled into a vessel. It is the empty space that gives the function of a vessel. So again, a vessel is another example, a vessel uh, that is molded by clay, but the, the molding by the clay is not the main point of the, of the vessel. The empty space that is inside the vessel is the main, is the main subject at hand. And, and this emptiness is a metaphor of, uh, of the Tao, this aspect of the Tao. Doors and windows are chiseled out to make a room. Again, a room, similar to a vessel or a vehicle or whatever, is just a thing that enables the other things to be inside of it. And it is, by definition, full of emptiness of space. And that's what we are focusing about on in this le lecture. The, it is the empty space in a room that gives its function. Therefore, Something substantial can be beneficial. Something substantial can be beneficial, while the emptiness of void is what can be utilized. All right, so again, the emptiness of void is what can be utilized, is what can be used. The, the substantial can be beneficial. I mean, things of 3D can be beneficial, can help us, can serve us. All this clay that is molding the vessel and the doors and windows themselves, you know, all of these uh, substantial things could be beneficial to us, but it is actually the emptiness of the void that is utilized. And you should think about that in day to day as well. Think about how it is actually the emptiness that really serves you. And once you get this realization, there's a lot that could be done in order to, you know, to improve your life. All right, so think about how all of these ideas of, of you know, emptiness and, you know, those deep, deep concepts that seem so out there. See how you can use these teachings in a practical way and that's basically your, uh, your job, you know. My job is to, to share with you all these amazing ancient teachings. And at the end of the day, your job, if you choose to follow this path, is to execute them in 3D reality, you know, in your day-to-day -day experiences. Anyway, that's chapter 11.